So, Trodin here tells me this is a, a deer path I'm following. I'm, I'm, I'm not far from the Viking house, it's just over there. Looking for wood to cook for staves. That's um, kind of length and straightness we want, but it's going to be a bit thin, really. Might be too bendy to... But there's a lot of flattened down ground. Uh, here, Trodin tells me it's deer. But there's a lot of it, it's not more than a path. It's like a hangout or something like that. And then I'm going to go deeper into the forest. The depths of the forest where there are bears and skunks and frightening chipmunks. All oh, right, some frightened chipmunks. I've got to admit it. A, we get flattened areas like this in um, behind my mum's garden in Scarborough. In, in Britain, um, but that's um, foxes. Those are the only really big kind of thing you get. We have deer and we have foxes. And that's kind of it, really. There's um, badgers. Many, many, many badgers, more than you can imagine. But you never see them. They're nocturnal, for one thing. Uh, and there's our first um, staves, which Instead of talking to you lot, I should be getting on and picking them up and going and trimming the bits off them and trying not to stab myself in any books on.